Alright, this video is going to be uh, maybe a little shorter than my normal ones because I wanted to reach a wider audience. Um, and I believe me, I really appreciate my core audience that watches all my videos. I got a few thousand people that watch every video. I really appreciate y'all. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, I really, really appreciate you. Um, and hopefully... This will help you guys and everyone else who sees it, because here's the thing. There's no good reason to not be in shape. The only reason we're not all in shape is because we're raised to not be in shape. We're literally raised in a way, fed a, a certain diet, and they want us to be soft, and they want us to be stupid. And... You got to actively go against it. You, you got to, um, you know, with the diet, it, look, I, I can't tell anyone to, to um, do what I do as far as eating because it probably wouldn't be healthy for you to eat the way I do. The only reason it works for me is because I've been doing it my whole life. I don't eat a lot. My body doesn't need a lot of food. Um, but it's because I've never, I've never been a big eater, so... If you're used to eating a lot, yeah, it's probably, you don't want to just starve yourself. But here's the thing, the more you eat, the more you're going to have to work out to burn all that shit off and, and to turn the protein into muscle. So, you know, I it, if you really want to be in shape, eat a little bit and work out a lot. You'd be amazed. You think the body needs all this fuel. It, it, I don't know. I can't speak for anyone but myself, but... uh my body doesn't need much um i got plenty of energy um i'm just an all-around positive person man i wish everyone um i i just wish everyone felt that way because when you feel good it ain't working out ain't nothing to me it's it's a normal thing uh but here's the thing if you're not used to working out the real trick is to start off simple and start off small you don't want to start off doing the max of what you're capable of doing you got to start off doing i say do about half your max let's say your max is five push-ups do two and then just get up and go about your day later on in the day maybe do two more tomorrow make sure you do at least two push-ups and so eventually you're going to get to a point where it's just too easy and you're going to be like all right let me do three or four five Next thing you know, you, you're doing 10, and it's nothing. And then the next thing you know, you're doing 40, and it's nothing. 50, you know? So that's the thing. It's consistency. It, if you do it every day, or at least every other day, you know, work out different muscle groups. Everyone's different. That's the thing. The, a lot of these exercise tips I see on the Internet, that they're, they're, they're trying to just give you this one-size-fits-all thing, and it, it just... It'll work for some people. It's not going to work for everyone. So you got to figure out what works for you. But one thing that should work for everyone is starting off real simple. And be, consistency is what matters. That That's what really counts. So, you know, whether it's every day or every other day, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. If your muscles are sore, you got to let them recuperate, I guess. I, I can't, you know... I've worked out with sore muscles. I, I felt like it was good for me, but I've seen other people say that's not good. So you got to just do, look, you're, n no one can tell you how your body functions. You're, you're, you know your body better than anyone else. So you do what works for you. But what really matters is consistency. It, so you just got to get yourself in the habit. Now, in order to get yourself in the habit, if you're used to sitting around all day and not moving a whole lot, you got to get out of the habit of sitting around all day. So start simple. And once you're in the habit of working out, even if it's just a little bit, once you're in the habit, you're going to keep doing it. For me, working out now, it's nothing. I, it's, you know, it's regular shit. If I don't work out, I, I don't feel good. So, and the other thing is people are like, well, I, oh, I'm going to need to dedicate a specific amount of time at a specific time of the week to go to the gym and work out. I, that's not what I do. Um, I have a gym membership, but all I do there is take a shower. I, I don't want to bulk up. 
I just want to be lean and strong. So I do push-ups, I do crunches, I do pull-ups when I see a bar to do pull-ups on. I do curls. If there's no weights, I curl something else. Right now, I curl my bicycle. Um, you just figure it out. Figure out a way to work out. Um, and it all depends on your goals. If you're looking to bulk up, you're going to need weights. You're going to need the gym. If you're just looking to be lean and strong, all you need is your body weight. So, um, And you don't need to set aside an hour every... Look, I... I set aside five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon. It's uh, it's opportunistic for me. If I got a whole bunch of stuff going on, I'm you know I'm not going to interrupt it to work out. But when, whenever there's a lull in my activities, I try to work out during that time. If I'm just sitting there watching a movie, I'm trying to get up and do push-ups every couple of minutes. Um, another great workout is shadow boxing. You'd be amazed if you've never done it. If you do one round of shadow boxing, you're going to be sore, I promise you, because it, it you're going to be using muscles you don't normally use, and you're going to be using them a whole bunch. So if you don't know how to shadow box, just look it up on YouTube. There's so much information on YouTube. It's it's amazing. It's a very, um, very, very useful thing, Google and YouTube. As much as I don't like how they try to control the narrative and all that, they're still despite that still very useful um so you know if you don't know how to shadow box there's a million videos on there that are great advice about it even though i you know i do know a little something about it i i i look up videos about it because you can always learn new things um so there's a great little cardio type workout which you don't need nothing but your hands and a timer um and it doesn't even matter like it, 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 it's not like you're training to fight something. It's just a good workout, you know. Um, so, and it's a fun workout. It's not, you know, it's something that's kind of uh, an enjoyable thing to do. But um, what, you know, what I do to work out is I just do sets of push-ups, crunches, leg lifts, curls. And that's what I do. I, I do a variety on those things. But really, my legs for my workout... I, I ride my bicycle, you know, that's how how I go grocery shopping, that's how I get food, so, um, that's not even, that's just my transportation, it's not even, I'm not like, I'm gonna go work out my legs, I just, I ride my bike every day to go do what I, whatever I gotta do, but, um, yeah, my point here is that start off easy, don't max yourself out, start off simple, get yourself in the habit of working out every single day or every other day, Whatever works for you, I do every day. I don't do the same thing every day. I switch it up. Um, I guess I can make a video about it. But but here's the thing. What you do is going to, you know, you got to do what works for you. What works for me is not necessarily going to work for you. One thing that is going to work for everyone is consistency. So if you can afford a personal trainer, go get one. Those guys, some of them guys, you know, they really know what they're doing, I'm sure. A personal trainer could get me in immaculate shape, but I ain't got the money or the time for all that. If I if I was going to spend money on a gym, I'd go to a MMA gym and spar and learn jujitsu. You know, I that's it'd be way more fun to me than just going to lift weights. I you know push ups and crunches and all that. That that's my that that I don't need to go to a gym for all that. And the other thing is, I don't need to. Um, you know, I work out opportunist, opportunistically throughout the day. I don't set aside, you know, when the opportunity pops up, I ain't got nothing going on right now. Like, I'm going to work out. After this video, I'm going to go get something to eat on my bike. But before I do that, I'm going to probably throw down a, a set of 30 push-ups real quick on an incline. Why not? Um, it's going to take me a couple of minutes. And uh, why wouldn't I do that, you know? What, what annoys me, and I, I, I don't want to get off on it too much of a rant, but what annoys me about our society is if we had the right people in charge, we'd be learning these things from when we were kids. But in the society we're in, they're, they're basically teaching us and training us to be soft and to be, you know, they don't want strong, smart 
capable people. And it, if you want the details, go on, go on my Patreon. But uh, it's all done by design. You gotta, you, you've got to, um, you gotta counteract it, it consciously. You can't just be lulled into this slave mindset that they're trying to get you in with. They just want you soft and stupid. Nah, you gotta fight against it. You got to, you know, don't 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 fall for it. Um, if you really want to get into it, look up um, look up some of these personal trainers. Uh, they're on Instagram. They're on YouTube. They're all over the place, and they're all you know. It doesn't matter which one you you pay attention to, because they're all going to give you pretty good advice. But my main advice is be consistent. So in order to be consistent. You can't make it this thing that you dread doing. It's got to be something real simple. Like like I said, for me, I, all throughout the day, I'm doing push-ups, crunches, legless, whatever. I, I switch it up. Um, but the reason I've been doing that my whole life is because it's just I'm in the habit of doing it. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing for me. I'm so used to doing it that... And I do believe there's a whole lot of mental health benefits from working out, too. I get it. Like, if you're used to sitting there all day, it's not going to be easy. But it's going to be a whole lot easier if you just get on the ground, do one push-up, and then go back to sitting on the couch. One push-up. I mean, if you do one push-up, you're going to be physically and mentally stronger for the rest of your life. One push-up. That's all you got to do. The benefits... I can't even calculate the benefits. One push-up, that's all you got to do. Because once you do one, you're going to do another one. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Eventually, you're going to do two, three, four, ten, twenty, fifty. You know what I mean? So, just do one. And even if that's all you ever do for the rest of your life, it's going to make you physically and mentally strong, stronger than you would be if you, if you don't do it. So, that's the point. Um, what's the saying? The samurai, I, and I think I got this from the book Hagakure, but the samurai said, uh, it's a bunch of quotes from samurais, and one of them said, he said, the only enemy is the enemy within. There's no external enemy, and you've been hearing it your whole life probably, but here's why it makes sense. The enemy within is the part of you that does not want to work out, that wants to sit there and do nothing. It's the part of you that looks for the easy path. It's the part of you that's willing to lie. It's willing to cheat. It's willing to steal. We all have the enemy within. We ha- we have this enemy within us. Every Everyone's got it. So the samurai in the book was saying, if you can beat the enemy within, you can beat any enemy. And I believe that's true. So when you're sitting there and the enemy within is saying, Let's not work out. If you can conquer him and conquer him consistently, then you can conquer all enemies. And I do believe that's 100% true. So, man, I wish I said that earlier in the video <laughs> because it's such an important line. But you know what? That's what you get for wa- watching my video till the end. You get the real wisdom <laughs> at the end. So, um, you know, beat the enemy within. And whenever you're sit, sitting there and the enemy within is, is talking you out of doing it, beat him. You know what I mean? It's that simple. It's, it's, it's the, the, these little moments that define your life. So, And now that I'm thinking about it, I've been letting the enemy within get over on me too much lately. So I'm about to tighten up in a, in a serious way now that I'm thinking about it. So, And like I said, it's going to help you. Look, that... You know, it's going to help you mentally, too. Beating the enemy within is going to help you in so many ways. So I really hope you you got to this point in the video to hear that part because that's what it all comes down to. you got to beat the enemy within. Beat him every time. Don't let him win, dude. And you know, get on the ground and do one push-up right now just, just to show him. <laughs> just to show him who's in charge. <laughs> so... Look, sometimes the enemy within is going to win. It's You're not always going to beat him. But if you can beat him, like like the dude said, I wish I, I wish I remembered his name. But if you can beat the enemy within, you can beat any enemy. And I tell you what, I, I believe that's true. And I, I've experienced it myself. Um, it, it just it makes you braver and stronger. It really does, beating the enemy within. So 
beat the enemy within. Don't don't let him beat you. So I guess that's the end of this video. I, I really appreciate the people who watch all my videos. I appreciate all the new people on Patreon. I appreciate all the people watching my movie review channel on my other channel. I'm going to have to film something for that. I'm going to... I'll put up a video for that at some point this week. Um, so, yeah. I really appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate the tips. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. And uh, hopefully this video will help you physically and mentally to be the best version of yourself. So, everybody have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.